Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about tailing. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, I am learning how to program in Java and I'm failing my class. My tutor is saying that the average pass rate of the class is about 60% of the student. Is, this, is programming really meant to fail so many people? I'm not sure that it's meant to do it, but now I'm picking words, but yes, programming is supposed to be fucking hard, really fucking hard. It's supposed to be so hard that someone is willing to pay you to not have to deal with it. I know. <laughs> Mind blowing. It's, uh, it's supposed to be that hard. Uh, I'm very sorry to say that if you've been misled by the internet into believing that programming is easy or that you can learn it in three months and be really good at it or things like that uh, you have been sold a very false image for what it's about uh, programming is literally about it, it literally comes down to you taking the time to practice many 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 hours to learn things that most people have no idea like it's just a magical box it's literally the it is a magical box that does something and the only thing they understand if they like depending on who they are if they're tech savvy they might know how to interact with that magical box to do some stuff or use spe some programs they have no clue how any of it works it is your your privilege to figure out how, how all of this is built and then after that it's your privilege to take a conversation that you have with someone who has no clue as I said at all how any of this works and convert their complete lack of understanding and the need that they have into working code that's what you are you are basically given free reign to fuck everything up or solve everything and you are ultimately the only person who's going to be blamed for whether or not this works or it, you know, if it works or works or not uh, because like, because you are you, you're the person with your fingers on the keyboard the uh, it's you're basically a service in many ways people input a request for software and it's up to you now to figure out how you're going to make that thing happen. And on top of that, they're going to ask you to compromise a lot or like make things go faster and so forth. As I said, they have no idea how it works. So you, you're going to have to juggle the whole expectation thing. Like people are setting expectations that hopefully are reasonable and then learn how to communicate and feel comfortable in yourself enough so that you know that you have the skills and because that's the, that's the worst part where especially when you're in the beginning of things you don't even know if you're the problem or they are the problem because when you don't have the skills and you don't have you haven't done this for long enough you can't really figure out if it's reasonable or not if you have as an example if you have if you're going to see which uh, if a, a lap time in a race is really good you can't just drive through the thing with one car because if you only have one car's lap time, you have no idea if that's good or bad. You have to run a few cars through to figure out if that's if that's a good lap time or not. It's the same thing with software. You have to do a few projects before you know if you're do good or not. And that's the reason why this is uh, why the failure rate is so high. I can give you a, like a very short story from my own uh, my own uh, path through coding. We started out in my class with. I think 30, 30 or 40 ish students or something like that in my class uh, when I went through the, uh, the my education and all that good stuff. By the first semester we had lost half of that class. That's how many people dropped off in like it, it was not like it, it was nothing like if we're talking months maybe like uh, most of them were gone by the first year by the time we finished that course a fourth of the class was left that's how high the failure rate was it was like nothing the only people who actually survived were the people who either really really stuck by we had a few people who were like i would say that they were just barely passing 
barely barely the people who were, and uh, then you had a few mid levels here and there who were who, like kind of who kind of knew what they were doing and then you had like a top brass of people who and a few of them had already like one of them had fucking been a programmer for seven years so a lot of us survived thanks to that dude being in the being present right but most of the class just disappeared that's how tough it was so and I mean even with the, with the uh, this was like an, a completely average education this is not something that like oh we went to Harvard or we went to MIT super class or something like that we didn't do any of that it was like a basic standard thing right and even so we had a few people who didn't actually get like an employment or couldn't actually find a job when we got out into like you started working and things like that even after that we still had just a ba a ba the basic skills that were needed in order to do some work in the industry and once we got out into the industry the thing that really made the difference was like the people who got into good positions at different companies where they got training uh, further training from people who really know what they're doing and that's why I usually say to people that it's a very good thing for you it's probably the best thing if you can get senior co-workers who are gonna be, be able to help you with answering questions and stuff like that when you get into the industry so what I want you to take away from this is that programming is fucking hard and if anybody, anybody says, tells you otherwise they don't know what they're talking about or they're lying to you to sell you something that doesn't mean that it's not fun that doesn't mean that it's not like the best thing ever if you really get into it I think it is at the very least I mean that's just my opinion of course but this is it, what, once you get over the hump and you can actually make meaningful things it takes I mean the upfront investment is high I'm not gonna lie to you but once you get to that point it is like the most empowering thing that you can imagine you can build so many things and there's so much to learn it's I mean for someone who re like myself who really likes learning new things and personal development and all that stuff this is like a smurgers board of content you can spend the rest of your life in this industry and learn continuously new things all the time but that doesn't mean that it's easy however I'll give you one thing though if you can go from just sticking it out to just getting the skills that you need to survive in the industry and that's half the battle because I can promise you not everybody has a like a natural aptitude for programming I didn't have it but I stick stuck by it and slowly but surely I actually start understanding how things work and then when you get that momentum when you unlock that potential to just kind of figure out how things work from there you can even continue and learn even more and before you know it you will be surprised at how you ever thought that this was a difficult thing you're still gonna struggle and you're still gonna have bad days and good days but at the very least I can promise you that if you stick by it just as with any skill you're gonna get better at it have a great day